the Council of the European Union. That's what I want to talk about in this video. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of European Union Explained. Today in this series I want to talk about the Council of the European Union, not to mix up with the European Council. For that I prepared some charts for you, so let's just have a look. The Council of the European Union. Its role is to be the voice of the governments of EU member states adopting laws and coordinating EU policies. The members are ministers from each EU country, depending on the policy area. And the presidency? Each EU country alternately assumes the presidency, presidency for six months. It was founded in 1958, that time as Council of the European Economic Community. Its seat or location is in Brussels, Belgium. The Council brings together ministers from all EU countries to discuss, amend and adopt legislation. They also coordinate their policies. All ministers present at the councils are empowered to act in a binding manner for the governments of the member states they represent. Together with the European Parliament, the Council of the European Union is the main EU decision-making body. Not to be confused with the European Council, which meets four times a year, where EU leaders meet to set the overall direction of EU policy. Or the Council of Europe, that's no EU body, tasked with the Council of the European Union coordinating and adopting of EU legislation with the European Parliament on the basis of proposals from the European Commission, coordinating uh, coordination of policies of EU countries, development of EU foreign and security policy based on European Council guidelines, conclusion of international agreements between the EU and other states or international organizations and so on. So don't confuse these three. What's the composition of the Council of the European Union? The Council of the European Union has no permanent members. It comes in 10 different configurations depending on the policy area. For each of these meetings, each member country sends the minister responsible for the upcoming topic. For example, if the Council advises on economics and finance, the so-called ECOFIN Council, then the finance ministers of the EU member states come together. Who chairs the Council meetings? The High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy holds the permanent presidency of the Foreign Affairs Council. At the other sessions of the Council, the relevant ministers of the EU member state who holds the rotating presidency of the EU presidency chairs. For example, when the Environment Council meets in the period in which Estonia holds the EU presidency, the Estonian Minister for the Environment presides. The work of the General Affairs Council, assisted by the Permanent Representatives Committee, ensures that the work is coherent. It consists of the permanent representatives of the EU, who are national ambassadors and ambassadors to the EU. The Euro Area Countries the euro area, or eurozone, how others might say, countries coordinate their economic policies in the Eurogroup, which consists of their economic and finance ministers. It comes together on the days before the meetings of the Economic and Financial Affairs Council. The agreement reached at meetings of the Eurogroup will be formally adopted by the Council next day, with only the euro area ministers voting on the issues concerned. How is the vote in the Council in general? All consultations and votes are public. Adoption of decisions usually requires a qualified majority, namely 55% of all countries, that means 16 countries out of currently 28, which also make up at least 65% of the total EU population. To prevent a decision, at least four countries are required representing at least 35% of the total EU population. But there is an exception. Unani unanimity is required for sensitive matters such as foreign affairs and taxation, and there all countries must agree. For procedural and administrative matters, the simple majority is sufficient. That's all about the Council of the European Union I wanted to talk to you today. 
And I hope it was quite interesting and you could learn a little bit more about the EU. For now, I thank you for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And by the way, I don't mind if you like or share my videos. Have a nice day and see you soon.